Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to create a Philotaxis setup that is placing and scaling elements along a spiral well known from nature. So let's start from scratch and place a vertical line inside a geometry container. It can have any kind of length. And we are going to resample that curve to a resolution of 0.05 so we have enough definition for displacement. I'm going to output the curve u attribute which starts at 0.0, .0 and ends up at 1.0 towards the tip and this we are going to remap into the x component of the position vector. I'm going to use the preset hill to get a first basic shape and if you zoom out, you can examine that now some edges are squashed and others are stretched. Now, in order to compensate for that, we are going to resample again, this time setting the interpolation to subdivision curves and give it a bit more definition, let's say 0.02. And instead of revolving that curve we are going to store the current x position into p scale and then flatten p at x back to zero again now if you examine the curve closely you should see that now in some areas the points are denser and in others they are less dense which is exactly what we want for the sweep node which is picking up the point scale as soon as we set the surface shape to round tube and set the multiplier of the radius to 1.0, we should have the same curve revolving around the center. The surface type we are just going to set to points and the columns down to one. Now each edge of this curve should be rotated by the magic number of 137.508 and now if we increase the resolution of the second resample node you should see that classical pattern of philotaxis. It can be seen best by setting the remapper to linear and watching it from above. So that's all we need to set up this pattern. Now in order to copy elements onto these points, we should create a bit of transformation attributes. So this is typically v at up, which we are going to set to 0, 1, 0. And the normals we are going to derive from the position. I'll just use x and z. So we're basically flattening the position info and make sure to normalize it so all vectors have the same length. Other than that, I would like to still use the p scale attribute. So let's go back to the sweep node into attributes and make sure the p scale doesn't get deleted. So just remove the roof sign and it should come through down to our attribute wrangle. Now p scale we are going to set to its own square root multiplied by a parameter called s for scale. Now this will define the size of our elements and we can simply use the simple leaf tool which is internally just using a sweep node again if you look at the ramp this is where the shape is coming from and this is going to be copied to the points of our spiral now feel free to play with any kind of shape i can even offset it multiply the radius or set a minimum like so and for visualization i can use the attribute adjust color node 
set to bounding box and just choose the Y component. Now what you should see is that all elements get placed in this nice pattern with any kind of resolution we want from really tight to rather loose. We can scale each element without having to worry about the radius of the shape. It would simply be scaled down and I prefer the B-spline to do that because it has a smoother transition. Thank you for watching.